What's up everybody, my name is Cody. I am so excited to be here with you today. I wanna to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We're gonna be sharing with you how to deal with cover four quarters, specifically from Gun Bunch, so that you can still run corner routes. That's right, you can still run corner routes against this. Gun Bunch is such a phenomenal formation. I'm excited to share this with you today. Now, if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, I wanna encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe, and if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Now, we're using the new York Jets gun bunch. In my opinion, this is probably one of the best, if not the best, gun bunches in the entire game. And I'm going to be talking to you about a couple of different plays, but really the number one play that I'm going to be sharing with you today is Z-Spot. Now, you can apply the same concept to several different plays in the gun bunch, but we're going to start with Z-Spot. And what we're going to start with defensively is a, a formula that a lot of uh, players are utilizing to slow down the, the gun bunch Z-Spot. And that is to simply... Um, call the defense cover four quarters and the, what you'll see here is if i try to throw this corner route it's going to be manned up and instantly intercepted almost every single time now really quick before we go too far into this video i did want to share with you that i got a new cell phone number so if you want to text me my new phone number is 208-218-6900 it's in the top left hand corner of your screen it'll also be in the description of this video but if you have any questions about what we're talking about you can text me there also if you want to get my uh, text message membership playlist, which is where I basically break down a full offensive or defensive scheme every single week and send it out to only people who have texted in. So this isn't videos that go onto public my channel. It's not available for my Discord members or anybody. It's just available for people who have texted me. If you want to get that full playlist that updates every single week, Text the word Madden to my new cell phone number 208-218-6900 and it will give you uh, that playlist. Now, uh, really quickly, I want to dive a little bit deeper into this. So if you notice, um, with one simple adjustment, you can actually solve this problem. So the big problem is that this corner on the outside follows and matches him up the field and takes the ball away, right? That's the big problem that we're having. So how do we deal with this? Well, out of bunch tight in, um, I don't know how I, I came across, honestly, I think I came across on accident, but I, I, if you go to trips tight in, if you take a look here, so I'm gonna go to trips tight in, and I'm not gonna have a corner route, but I just want you to watch the play verticals. And it's the same coverage, cover four quarters, but if you watch on the left side, I want you to watch what happens if I put Valdez Scantling on an out route. What you're gonna notice here is that left side outside quarter is gonna play him, and then I have a little bit of a window to pop that route into Devontae Adams. The same principle is true of bunch tight end. So if I go to bunch tight end, and I go to the play tight end corner, you're gonna see that it comes with this little five yard baby out route to Valdez Scantling. And if I motion him to the outside and let him kind of set his feet up, what you're gonna see is that, guy, that corner is gonna match him, and as you can see here, now I can throw the corner route. The same is true out of gun bunch. It's principles applied cross applied to three different meta offenses can roll into one principle that you can apply to gun bunch. And here it is. What you're going to do is you normally would be putting Tavon Austin on a five yard out route anyway. All you're going to do is you're just going to motion him to the right and basically let him kind of set his feet a little bit. And now you're going to see they're going to match him. Two players go to that out route and leaves the corner route wide open. Now, one of the more popular strategies, especially for people that run cover four quarters uh, against Gun Bunch, there's a lot of problems with this guy right here, okay? So what a lot of times they'll do is they'll put him into a deep half to protect against streaks, right? For example, if I ran the play flood here, and I'm gonna reset my defense, I don't have to do anything, right? I'm just calling the play flood. I want you to watch what happens. One play touchdown every time. So to prevent that, Here's what people are going to do. They want that outside quarter to play the corner route. So what they're going to do is they're going to take that deep safety and they're going to put him into a deep half. And I guarantee you they will do this. Anyone that runs this defense a lot will put that safety into a deep half zone. Thinking all the while that the outside corner will play any corner route that goes his way. Well, not the case if you do it like this. If you motion this guy out, and again, you just kind of let him set his feet a little bit, snap the ball. He's going to go down. They both go down. And now look, you've got a wide open route to the corner route. The play that the defense was designed to stop did not stop the route it was designed to stop. And now there's basically SOL. There's no other way for them to stop this 
other than using zone drops. Now, I wanna take this a little bit farther and I wanna talk a little bit about, um, like, like, let's say they did do zone drops, right? So let's, and, and to illustrate this, we're just going to use um, a cover four drop style defense, right? Cover four drop. Just, 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 you know, just kind of imagine with me that this is a zone drop defense. Now, if I motion this receiver out and I let him sit his feet, I want you to watch what happens here. If that corner's in a deep zone, you see that he doesn't really play the out route, but he kind of does. He kind of comes down and tackles him. And what that really boils down to is we don't have a flat threat. We don't really have a viable flat threat because if a deep zone can cover an out route in a flat, that's not what we want to have happen. What we want to have happen is we want that out route to matter. We want it to be able to threaten the flats. So I want to show you um, it, how to do that. And basically the way you want to do that is through using motion snapping, but also through snapping him a little bit before he sets so that he can kind of delay and then bam, now you have a flat threat. Okay. Now, obviously if they have a hard flat out there, that's, you know, he's going to, the hard flat's going to play him, but not so much if you know if you don't have a hard flat so let's say let's let me show you cloud flat because the idea here is we want this to be able to threaten him both in the short flat and in the corner route and there you see that's what we're looking for a little quick out get up for about five to ten yards now let's take this and apply this to the quarters coverage because i want to show you the issue that this is going to now cause your quarters beater and this is kind of how you put together a whole play so now they're playing quarters and we're gonna go ahead and try to motion snap Tavon Austin. I want you to watch what happens here. You're gonna see that that corner, unfortunately, goes to guard Devontae Adams. He doesn't go to where we want him to do. He, he doesn't do what we want him to do. What we want him to do is we want him to guard the, the circle receiver. The problem is the circle receiver is not enough into his area to where he is actually threatening vertical. And so what I like to do uh, in this situation is you can actually use a couple different types of routes. So another route that you could try is a whip route, right? A zig, um, and let's just test this real quick. You see, oh, unfortunately it doesn't work, but you can still see I can check that zig down. So that doesn't, that, but that, that's not what we want to accomplish. That's just, you know, and again, this is where you start testing things, right? You know, this is, this is where you start testing things. So uh, again, cover four quarters, we're gonna press it. And now uh, we're gonna show you uh, another thing we could do. So another thing we could do is we could put him on a flat route and then motion him out, let him set his feet up and see if this works, right? And look, voila, it does work, but you see late he does come back on the ball. So not really what we're looking for from a cover four uh, quarters type, type of beater. Really what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to figure out a way to get this motion snap to the out route. So uh, what you can do is kind of let him right before he sets, and that's exactly what we want to do right there. So let me show you the timing on this on this uh, on this motion snap. It's very very um, it's very fragile um, if you if you watch it because if you don't snap it exactly the right way, you're going to be able to stop. But if you look here, watch he's kind of setting his feet. See how he's kind of turning to the inside here, and then we snap like right as he's doing that. You see there they register. And really what it comes down to is if you watch this corner has kind of stopped kind of setting his feet as well but that's what we're looking for right there and now this is going to open everything up for the offense I'm telling you this is this is going to open everything up for your offense out of this one little play so uh, again we're going to cover four and now we're going to use that match coverage principle where we take that deep half up so that we can prevent ourselves from getting giving up any bombs right and we're going to finish this play out here with this and again just it's a real tender motion but like right out there and that's what we want to see happen and as you see right there you know and of course i should have passed it to the outside but now that corner route is wide open wide open even though they're calling the defense that should stop it that's the beauty of the bunch that's the beauty of motion snapping and that's how motion snapping can really help you and again you just wait right right before he sets us like you really do need to practice this a little bit but it's like literally right before he sets his feet that's when you snap the ball okay so that is how you can basically take a defense that is designed to be able to stop that that form or that play and eliminate it 
The same thing holds true for um, this coverage right here. This is cover six Ember, one of the more popular defenses as well. Same thing, get him out there, let him kind of, and then right there, snap it. You see he's gonna go into man coverage, and now match coverage is not gonna be able to keep up with that route over the top. That's a one play touchdown against the same exact coverage over the top, or the same exact uh, concept, just a little bit different uh, principle. So um, you're gonna be able to deal with match coverage now. You still have your zone beater uh, for, you, you still have this against everything else. I mean, like if they run, let's say that they run just standard Tampa two on you, you're gonna kill it. I mean, it's, it's the, the thing is, this motion snap now makes this play borderline unguardable and i don't know why i don't see more people use this motion snap but as you see right here you know you're able to get it over the top of the cover two and over the top of pretty much any zone drop in the entire game so this is going to make that corner out that much better so try this out let me know what you think if you want to get my free gun bunch offensive scheme that is available in our text message membership go ahead and text me uh, my number is 208-218-6900 if you have any questions you can send those over to my phone number as well but real quick if you want to get that playlist automatically sent to you every single week um, so that you can stay up to date with the latest schemes Go ahead and text the word Madden to my number at 208-218-6900. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time right here on the channel.